in many places to come from the prehistoric time, we have the petrol. Do you know about the petrol bits? It's art in the rock. And in many places here, you have this. Right? In some places, right? And for many years, the archaeologists were named to this spiral. But this art in the rock is not in every place. We found this petroleum, this art in the rock, in some specific areas. <coughs> Here you had one area with petroleum, right? With the painting of this. And I saw there one of these. For archaeologists, the old archaeologists, they named it to this spiral. But science evolved and it started to help to us, and now it's not that spiral. This is vortex. The prehistoric people, <coughs> primitive, the ignorant people, were growing in these lands 10,000, 20,000 years ago, they know about vortex. Because what I think it is art in the rock to draw in this, oh, this is very simple, simple. It's not really a really simple, simple. It's the teaching of this place about this space is a special vortex. And in this special vortex, these people start to do the ritual. You have here, you have in China, you have in Africa, every place. And of course, to do the rituals means to release. That's the meaning of rituals. We are forget that. Always we are thinking ritual need to be painful. I need to go to church every Sunday, seven o'clock in the morning. And Saturday night, I have a party, and I wake up, you know, with hay, whatever, and I take my shower. I need to run to the church. I need to pray, and I repeat the same to parrot. I don't have idea what I say, but after that, I need to give my money. After I give my money, I go back to my home, tired. I eat in my lunch, and I lay down and sleep. Because next day, I need to reach pain. I need to go to work. Why would I forget the meaning of what is the cycles? These people, our ancestors, these primitive people, always I love to say primitive because that's the <coughs> primigenius we are coming late. They, they have their own knowledge. And they, all the knowledge what they have, they share with us, but so hard to put attention about that. And they do it in cycles, the rituals. Because our existence is connected with the feeling and emotions. I tell you before, I have anger, I have sadness, I have fear, jealousy, envy. I have love, I hate it. Always we have hope. But this feeling and these emotions move energy. For science, it's so hard to have venture about that. If possible, it's impossible to say, I love you two times. I hate you one later. <laughs> no way. But we know this feeling and emotion move energy. One example is when you have a person to have problems with the sugar. You take the test in the morning, the sugar is high, and you put the insulin, 15 minutes later, you take again the test of blood, it's normal. 15 minutes later, plus 20 seconds, somebody coming behind, so wow! <laughs> take the test of blood, the sugar again is high. It's because this feeling and emotion is very But our ancestors, they know about that. That is why they do the rituals for release all these energies. 
Because the big concern when we have the human beings from the beginning is to be healthy. 